on Front of House Theatre Company. Um, I'm directing Spear Carriers by Andrew Thompson. Felt better today. Felt right. What? Don't be like you don't see where this is going. What? You couldn't have upstaged more. Don't be daft. We practically moved centre stage. It, it wasn't that bad. I just felt it. We were in the moment. We were. Me and McKellen. I, I, I just had this instinct, so I went with it. You saw a spotlight and you went for it. You tripped him up, you know. I did not. That was far off. I felt it. His leg. The moment. Spear Carriers is a two-hander, two guys. Uh, they're both actors appearing in a production of Anthony and Cleopatra. And the script is really about their relationship and what they get up to when they're not on stage moving furniture around. You can have sex without being in love, you know. Yeah, but without first names, it's pushing it. I think it's mean something. Well, it does mean something. It means you're having sex. What's been really interesting is because we all work in theatre sort of in our own right as well it is being able to draw on our own experiences of working in an organisation, an arts organisation uh, to really sort of get to grips with what it must be like to be part of such a massive company um, because it's a two-hander trying to reflect obviously a massive Shakespeare play and that is a bit of a challenge um, but what's been really nice is, is sort of considering the size of the theatre you potentially, we ourselves like potentially don't explore so what it's like to be in the green room for five and a half hours waiting for that one moment when you're on the stage and sort of it's a strange environment I think. We chatted. What did you say? Just hello. Is that it? Oh, is it? No, I mean introduced myself. Did you ask me? I'm not gonna do that straight away, am I? I can't just walk up and say you woman, hi. No, she's like that. Well, how would you know? She will with her. Oh, you're a spear carrier for God's sake. Sooner or later, you've got to thrust it into something. She's not just going to let me. She will with her boobs. I chose Spear Carriers by Andrew Thompson as the play that I really wanted to direct because I felt that the script that Andrew had written um, was very sort of, I suppose it was quite authentic. It felt quite authentic. Um, having worked in a theatre for a while in like a number of different roles, I really sort of really appreciated the way that the text had been written. I felt that it had come from a really honest place. Well, I wanted to help you rebuild Rome. You wanted your mum to notice you more like. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I knew she was in and I know you told her you were in a scene with Ian. Oh, don't go calling him Ian like you're all best mates. <laughs> I think you'll find it's my ear who chooses to whisper in an act too. That was the director's idea, not what he says. And there's a great sort of transformative motion through the text from it being a, a script that's very funny and very engaging and into a script that's actually quite traumatic um, depending on, on how you look at sort of the circumstances surrounding one of the character's behaviours. It's a proven fact that a woman's willingness to receive can be judged by the size of her tits. How do you just say these things? How do you just spout complete shit with no reasoning and they claim they're facts? It's true. As a proven Maori to mounting lineage, it's known as her pie chart. Piss off, just piss off. I'm guaranteed I could tell you by the size of a woman's chest whether she'd let you plant your eagle in her farmland. Have you ever done it up the arse? I got involved with Front of House Theatre Company because I really loved and really appreciated the idea of being able to work creatively with people who are at the same level, sort of in their career development as I am. And I think what is incredibly special about the way this company works is that everybody is totally appreciative of what everyone else is bringing in, but also the, the sheer standard and talent of what's on offer. Everyone's doing it for free, um, everyone's trying to make it fit around their, their other requirements and their other daily activities. So being able to have access to you know, trained actors and uh, really insightful you know, directors, other directors to work with, uh, writers, the writing is incredible and very varied in this company. I don't think that the five shows of our first piece are going to have anything to sort of relate to almost other than the fact they've come from this company. They're so diverse and so different, which is really exciting.